here. So I don't know about you, but um, many women, for some, for so many women, including myself, this year feels like um, energetic um, push that sometimes comes from outside and sometimes comes from within. It's like a push um, to make us feel, to make us change something that isn't working anymore. Tell me if you can relate to that. Many of us, especially women, we experience things that are collapsing. And at the same time, we do experience things that are emerging. It's like this time, this year is here to push us to free yourself from a burden of the past and to make something that we've always wanted to do but never dared to do. It's like we are challenged to trust life more, to believe in ourselves more, to to believe in ourselves for real, to heal our wounds for real, and to recognize and assume our worth deeper. I really feel like as a collective, as women, we get out of our cages. We get out of our isolation, our conditioning, to go toward more freedom and and pleasure. So tell, tell me if that speaks to you in, in the chat or in the comments below or in a private message. Because personally, since January this year, since my last post, I mean, the post I've shared on Facebook that I called Drop the Mask, since January, I'm in a endless detox of my old mask and roles, social mask and roles. Um, it's like a purge. It's like I'm, I've been purging all of my old stories that I've been telling to myself in my head forever. It's like I'm detoxing myself. I'm purging myself from those stories that was, I was telling myself to protect myself from potential dangers. I was protecting myself from life probably. And it's as if I've realized that I've been living in constant control, in constant anxiety for many years. And that I've been hidden all very well with this shiny mask of a strong, always positive and very independent woman so as not to suffer. But this year, maybe for you too, at least for many women that I've been, you know, meeting, life pushes me to realize myself, to reveal myself, no matter what, whatever the, the wounds and the fear that are coming up to the surface. It's like this year life pushes me to open this Pandora box that I've never wanted to open. And it's like I'm pushed to look at my old fears, to free myself from them and to guide over women on this beautiful path of emotional freedom, I feel guided to offer guidance for over women, even if, if I still feel this imposter syndrome as an emotional healer. But um, here am I today, and uh, emotional freedom actually is the name of my new YouTube channel, in English only, for women only, 
Amandine, Emotional Freedom, you can subscribe on this new channel on, with the link below this video. Thank you for the support because um, this um, YouTube on this YouTube channel in English only, I'm going to dedicate two contents uh, every week, a live like this one every week, and also a podcast that I dedicate to women that will be called Happy by Women. And on this channel, I'm going to talk uh, about uh, my long experience about emotional healing and also my experience to, to guide you on this journey with three tools that I offer as an emotional freedom treatment. Those three tools include, for example, Theta Healing. I don't know if you've heard about Theta Healing. I'm going to share with you this week a guided Theta Healing audio in two days uh, on the next first day. So Theta Healing is a meditation-based uh, healing modalities that takes you, I mean, I guide you to Theta brain work modes beyond your fears and conditioning so you can see your triggers uh, from a higher perspective. And I facilitate this uh, understanding finding the real cause of your emotional pain for you to make inner change, to turn the uncomfortable emotions and sensations into meaningful projects and relationship. So what will we talk about on this new channel? From today, I'm going to post twice a week content uh, for women to guide us, because I'm on the same boat than you, to guide us on this emotional healing process. I'm sure you've noticed that emotional healing is a journey. It doesn't happen overnight, right? So that's why we need to learn how to self-regulate our emotions, but we're also here to co-regulate our emotional triggers together as a, a collective, a woman collective. So we're going to talk, of course, about the different triggers, emotion, wounds, and especially the woman's trauma and conditioning we are carrying from our own childhood, but also from our family history. We're going to talk about what is difficult to talk about. That's, here, that's why I'm here. We're going to talk about those difficult emotions like guilt and shame. And we're going to turn it into more self-love and conditional self-love for ourselves first. Self-respect, self-confidence, self-esteem. And you know that the core of my life purpose is about self-expression. Because I come from um, early life trauma, I couldn't express my emotions. And I'm here today to help you self express yourself and your authenticity. Um, so this is what we're going to do together, right? So tell me if all of that resonates with you and where you're at on your emotional freedom journey, process, path. Tell me on the chat, tell me in the comments, tell me in private messages. And what I want to share with you this week, so this week on the menu, on this new YouTube channel, uh, on this new podcast dedicated um, for women, I'm going to call it Happy by Women. So in two days, so if you look at me, watch this live video right now, you'll, you won't see the link below. But if you look at this video later, the link to the podcast will be below this video. So we are Tuesday today. In two days, I'm going to launch this first episode of the podcast, Happy by Women. And we're going to talk about, um, we're going to start really easy with an emotional issue that we all know, which is anxiety, right? We all experience anxiety. And in this first episode, I'm going to introduce you, I'm going to guide you to a Theta Healing um, emotional freedom uh, practice to turn all the anxieties you've been feeling right now or recently or this year into most unconditional love and pleasure. 
And Theta Healing is a very beautiful practice to, to uh, embody more unconditional love. But you know, Theta Healing is an energy healing practice. And I've always thought that the best energy work we can do on ourselves is to send ourselves unconditional love. So of course, Theta Healing is a beautiful practice for unconditional self-love. So we're going to turn the anxiety. You'll find the, the, the real cause of your anxieties to turn it into more unconditional love and pleasure. Because for me, the opposite of challenging emotions and, and trauma is pleasure. The opposite of trauma is pleasure. So this is what we want uh, together is to turn the, the uncomfortable, the painful into uh, comfortable, safe, but also pleasurable and authentic self. This is the, the real nugget of emotional freedom is authenticity. This is what we're looking for. So this is the, the, the menu of this week. So um, I'm gonna send you this uh, audio in two days. You can subscribe to uh, YouTube, the YouTube channel right now. But before I leave, I'm leaving you today, I'm going to share with you the intuitive writing prompt of the week for you to, um, to, to get ready for the, the podcast in two days, but also to, to um, help you um, live better with, with your emotions and your intuitions and your, in your relationships this week. So... The intuitive writing prompt of the week is this one. And you, you, you'll find it below the video also, but my first prompt is, what is your main challenge this year? The main challenge you're going through this year and where do you feel it in the body? This is the first question. And the second question is, what sensations are you feeling there where the, tr where the trigger is in your body and what emotions are connected to these sensations? Leave me a message if you want more details about those prompts. I guide you further in the podcast coming up in two days. And while the time you can contact me below this video to book your private emotional freedom treatment with my three tools, Theta Healing, Somatic Practices, and uh, Intuitive Writing, if you're comfortable with. Um, let me know, contact me if you want more information about the results you can get with this emotional treatment. Um, and uh, share this, with, this video with other women who are on the path of emotional freedom and wants to learn how to self-regulate and co-regulate with other women. Thank you very much for uh, listening. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for uh, using the prompts. Thank you for booking a treatment if you need to. I see you in two days for the first podcast, Happy by Women. I see you there. Bye-bye.